I was a bit reluctant to otherwise. At Uber, obviously, it wasn't possible because you're self-employed. So we only met, I think, two people who worked for, were employed directly by the company. <coughs> but at Amazon, I did, yeah. Um, and he was almost the most damning about the company, than, more damning about the company than, um, than some of the other people. And also, I met, I interviewed, um, and in fact, lived with someone who... So the company B&M Bargains makes a brief cameo in the book, um, again, for predictably shoddy treatment of staff. And I interviewed a manager at that company in the book who um, was so disgusted from what he was being asked to do as a manager. Um, so things to do with drug and alcohol tests to get rid of people, etc. That he was was keen on talking to me about about that. So it was it was there was a kind of at Amazon, for example, there was an element of fear. So those those people who were kind of one tier above us, managing us, seemed to be just as terrified of losing their jobs as we were. It was just uh, it was just pressure from from higher up above. Um, so they had to carry just carry out orders, um, etc. But it was, that was obviously more difficult than just interviewing uh, staff who were doing the same job as me because there was a fear at all times that I would lose my job, I would be found out and, and then lose my job. So I had to be careful who I kind of uh, confess as to what I was doing.